Hey folks, Russ Bailey here. It's time for another Brush Pile Fishing, the video podcast. Again, you can see the pretty scenery in the back. We're here at beautiful Dale Hollow at our media camp. Denny has been taking care of us. It has been great. The weather's been warm. We got out of that cold Ohio. Great guest today, Mr. Matt Foster. Matt, how are we hey, doing? Good, good. Folks, you want to stay tuned for this one. If you have not heard of the crappie blog, and if you're a crappie fisherman, I'm assuming you have, but if not, stay tuned because you're going to hear about this one. It's something you're going to follow from here on out. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing, the video podcast. All right, folks, welcome back to the video podcast here from Dale Hollow with my good friend, Matt Foster. Matt, how are we doing? Good, good. Great. Glad to be here. I'll tell you what, man, I've wanted to get this uh, podcast with you for a while, uh, but now we actually get to sit down and do this thing uh, okay. together, the crappie blog, okay? Yeah. And again, I think most people that really get into crappie fishing know that what that is, but everything is coming up so new on social media and there's something at it every day. So I wanted to have a chance for you to tell folks about the crappie blog, how it got started, what it is, and how they can get it. Absolutely. So it's completely free service. Mm -hmm. um, so I, the reason I, the way I guess I started the crappie blog, I took my boy fishing with me. He was probably eight at the time. Okay. Um, and we went out and it was a cold day. We still caught some fish, but it was cold. Got home and he had a good time. He's like, man, dad, that was so much fun. And I wanted to be able to remember that and write about it. And I was like, I'm gonna put this down in article form, just like you'd read in a Field and Stream magazine, sure. you know, about a father and son fishing trip and about how much fun it can be to take a kid out fishing and some of the gear we use to catch fish in the cold weather to also help educate people like, hey, yeah, it's fun to take a kid fishing, but this is how you take them or when you take them, this is how you catch fish doing yes. it, you know? Because yes. there's nothing more miserable than taking a kid out there in the freezing cold and not catching fish, <laughs> you know? Uh, they won't be me. as anxious the next <laughs> time, will right, they? <laughs> right. So I, I wrote this article and it was maybe, I don't know, 1,200 words, 1,300 words uh, article it was my first one. Uh, and after that, I just got hooked on writing articles um, and educating people on tips, tricks, techniques, um, similar to how you, you do your show, mm -hmm. but mine's in word form, right. you know? And uh, one of the things that I also like to do is, uh, I call them business profiles. So uh, several of the Brush Pile Fishing sponsors, you know, b and Poles, I've done one over their business, you know, how it was, how it was formed. Um, I've done one on cornfield fishing gear. Uh, just how they were formed, some of the products they have to you offer. Don't, you don't promote that you know, stuff a whole lot, I, do you? I do, oh. I do. So uh, it was uh, It was one of those things like, how can I help not only uh, businesses in the fishing industry grow or people learn, but also help businesses in the fishing industry grow? Because when my thought process on that is when people become interested in it, you know, and are wanting to go out and do it and learn how to do it. And when they know how to do it, then, and they grow as a crappie fisherman, well, all the businesses in the crappie fishing industry Everybody. are gonna grow. And that was my goal is to help those businesses grow through writing articles, you know, and also have written several uh, guide articles. So uh, people are looking at like David Jones, yep. uh, Corey Thomas, I've, I've written some, some articles on their guide business, you know, and just getting people knowing how they can reach out to those people yeah. uh, for, hey, I'm going to Green River Lake or I'm going to Del Hollow. Who do I need, if I want a guide, who do I need to look for? And multiple times, a lot of my search history or my analytics for my website is organic from people searching guide for Dale Hollow or guide for Green River Lake or whatever that may be, you know, or uh, be it, being in polls or whatever, you know, yep. a lot of it's organic and that's what's so neat. You know, a lot of it comes from Facebook. I have, do have a Facebook page. It's uh, the crappie blog. Um, I also do Instagram where I post some of my pictures that I take. And, and, uh, and, and we're going to stop right there. Okay. We're going to pause right there. So he tried to blow over that real quick, the pictures he takes and he's going on the next subject. Let me tell you when I, when this man, when I say he is a unbelievable photographer, You've got to see some of the shots that he has taken of different things. And, you, and and some of the shots of products even, I'm thinking, how did you even come up with this? I mean, it's it's different than anything I've seen advertisement-wise or organic-wise. It is just 
unbelievable. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some of these, and you're going to see yeah. these on the screen as we're talking, folks. But uh, that's the thing, Matt, that got me was your photos that you've taken. As a matter of fact, folks, we were on the water this morning, and uh, there's there's one color. It's kind of an oddball color combination that I love using from crappie magnets, a pink head with the uh, fast lane body on it. And uh, I want to do something, you know, that later on that I want to talk about that. You took some photos for me, and it's like, I don't know. I don't know where you get the ideas that quick because I, I would have never had those kind of photos, oh. man. Well, and, and I don't know, you know, where, where it comes from. I know that, you know, the big thing was I wanted to get you not only holding the bait and get, get you in the picture, but also focus on that bait. Yeah. Because, you know, we've, we've got both both aspects. We have Russ Bailey, host of Brush Prowl Fishing, <laughs> holding the bait that he uses, yeah. what, 90% yeah. of the time, you know what I mean? When he, when you're out fishing, you use it a lot. So I thought it was cool to showcase not only you, but also the bait too. You know, and that's another service, I guess, if you will, that I offer with the crappie blog is there's businesses uh, in the industry uh, if they need photographs for their product, uh, they can reach out to me and I'd have to look to see like, cause I do so many products is this price and so many products sure. is this price. I'd have to look and see the price on it, but, uh, it's not much like maybe 150 bucks at yeah. most well for, for photographs, when you see some for of photographs. When you I mean, see you know, so and I have the whole photo booth set up at my house so I can, get those capture those pictures and everything else and i'll even do some outside take take some products out fishing and get some some of the shots like what See we those. got today See you know those, so yeah. yeah one of the things that i think is cool is like you say this started from just writing about you and your son's adventures and now i mean and and here's the thing uh, again another similarity between our show and what you're doing is I've always told people that I think one of the things that's kept our show on the air and kept it interesting is we, I, I've made friends with some of the best anglers in the country and there's so many different ways of crappie fish. So I have a different guest every week doing a different pattern. And the way I look at it, if you're my guest today, this is your half hour show. I right. want you to do it. I've read your blog. You're talking about, you know, to different guys. You asked me a question about some shallow water fishing. Yeah. But so I'm getting different people's aspects from across the country. And you have the connections too with some of the best anglers in the country. And I and again, most crappie fishermen, once you really get into this, you can't get enough information. Right. And the crappie blog is just one more place. It's there. Like I said, I just write like writing different articles. You know, I've interviewed guys about side pulling, a technique that I don't see a whole lot of on my lake. Yeah. You know, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do it on my home lake. You know, um, spider rigging. I've I cover single pole live scoping. I've shallow water fishing. Everything because there's something for everyone. Yeah. You know, um, what the way that I fish may not be the way that you want to fish. Right. You know, the way that you want to fish may not be the way that somebody else wants to fish. So to have that, and that's what your show brings as well, is the educational aspect yeah. Yeah. of for people to be able to look at it and say, okay, well. I want, not necessarily that they weren't a fan of the last episode, but they're like, well, I don't really want to fish that way. Mm -hmm. So, but they're like, I really like how he did this. And so they incorporate different bits and pieces from different episodes. And so even with, where with me, they can take different pieces from different articles that I've written Absolutely. to improve their crappie game, so Absolutely. to speak, you know? So. Well, and I know here at the camp today, um, you know, we joked about cornfield fishing gear, uh, but Mark Riddle's become a pretty good buddy of mine. And I know just a little bit ago, one of the things that we do is we work with sponsor products here at the camp and you were taking some photos down there if mm -hmm. I do yeah. some social media stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, for cornfield fishing gear, social media, I manage cornfield fishing gear, social media, crappie magnets and being in polls. Pretty heavy hitters right yeah, there, buddy. That's Pretty right. heavy hitters. That's right. Uh, very blessed, man. <laughs> very blessed. It's a lot of pressure at times, you know, but I will say, so since since I've started doing it, um, I've done being in polls for about two years now. Mm -hmm. And I've been fortunate enough to have enough people posting that I can post, have a new post every day with a different product every day. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, that's so cool to be able to look back to look at <laughs> and see like, man, you know, they've got a lot of rods, mm -hmm. but for two years worth of posting every day about different products and different people, you know, my favorites is, is the kids fishing, whether it be yeah. a catfish or well, I don't care. Yeah. I want to see the kids fishing. Well, you know, and that's, that's what got this started that's for right. you, yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, and one of the things too, especially with the B and M guys, um, so many of them, Jack, you know, and Kent is in charge of the, the, the pro staff, but they really screen who they get on and they want guys that 
that can give that information out. And that yeah. makes it so easy for guys like that's us. Right. When we get with them, we know we're going to get a ton of information yeah. we can use. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, you know, is being able to to call somebody. I can call you up and say, hey, Russ, you know, I'm, I, I need – what's your thoughts on this rod? Can you get me a picture or – Tell me a little bit about this rod. What do you like about this this rod? And it may not even be the Russ Bailey Signature Series yeah. rod. It could be the, the Sharpshooter 6 or uh, the the Diamond Series or any of the rods. You said the other day you used that Diamond Series, and yeah, it was like, oh, man. That 14-footer for live scoping was incredible. It really was. <laughs> So it's just one of those things that uh, it's, it's so nice to be able to have people that I can reach out to to say, hey, Give me your thoughts on, give me your hot take on this because it's not the Matt, I don't want it to be the Matt Foster show, me posting videos and pictures of me holding rod, the rod all the time. I think in the two years that I've done uh, the B&M page, I think I've only posted pictures of me or my kids like two or three times because yeah. I haven't had to, yeah. you know, but I've had the content, you know, yeah. um, and same thing for Crappie Magnet and Cornfield. I try to get everybody else because it's about all, the whole community of anglers that use those products. Now, have you ever been down at Mark's place and got some photos? And some, I have. I, I have. I, I'm telling you, and, and Mark knows this now, okay, because like I say, we're pretty good buddies. But when they first came on board with us, Marcus, our, our marketing guy, said, hey, I've got someone interested um, in being a partnership with us. It's Cornfield. At the time, it was Cornfield Crop. Mm -hmm. It's Cornfield Fishing Gear now. And I'm thinking, first of all, that name, what in the heck's going on here? <laughs> So Mark wanted us to come down there and see the place. And I, and I told Mark this story. I said, the whole time, for whatever reason, I kept thinking on the way down there, this is going to be a guy in his little garage mm -hmm. and he's making one item per week or something. Man, I got down there. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a real deal here, yep. man. He, and he's, he's, he's so smart and he's on the cutting edge of everything. Oh, yeah. Always thinking ahead on a new product. You were you were photographing some new right. items he's got coming out yeah. now. Yeah. It's just so it, it blows my mind at how innovative he is with some of the products that he comes yep. out with. I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah. You know, and and it has a functional use. It's not a gimmicky product. You know that you would see and we're like, well, I mean, that's cool, but it has no functionality. Yep. You know, it's like that is cool. I've got to have it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that's like I say. That's it's been great for us because we've got the best sponsors and the best products right. in the market. So, yeah. and now you've got them too, man. Well, and it's awesome. You know, I, I was told a, a long time ago to surround myself with great people. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I feel like I've done. I mean, uh, I've, from the whole brush pile fishing, you know, the B&M, the, &M, the crop magnet, the cornfield fishing gear folks. I mean, just everybody in the t here this weekend. I mean, it's just, amazing group of people you i'll know? tell you what i you mean know. What, what did we do the other night for before we kick things off what, what did we say pledge of allegiance oh yeah we I said mean, a pledge that, of allegiance that's just, that's just, yep. you know but and, and that's, pray, that's, pray that's before the meals you know that's who we it's, are. it's just one of those things that i i like to surround myself with people with the same uh moral values uh and christian values that yeah. i have and i feel like well you do that and I mean, you can't go wrong, well, you know. And me and you share some some other things in common. We are I'm I'm retired law enforcement. You're still in it. Tough tough career to be in, yeah. man. I appreciate your service. Man. Well, thank you, thank you. So now, before we close us out, I want to talk about. I want to switch gears a little bit. I've taken some outdoor riders out in the past, okay, and they'll tell and they've told me they said I don't really fish. I just love covering fishing, okay. This is not the case with Matt. Matt is one darn good crappie fisherman okay so matt now i want you to take some time and tell the folks what is your favorite way to crappie fish my favorite way now uh, i grew up when i when i grew up my dad and i were spider riggers you know uh you could call it uh, i guess side pulling he had a 16 foot we called it the banana boat it was a stick <laughs> steer boat and we didn't know what rod holders were. We had 10 foot, eight to 10 foot rods and we just laid them across the boat. And when, I mean, there was maybe this much of the rod tip sticking off yeah. the edge of the boat. And when one went down, you just picked Pull the rod up, up yep. you know? And then after that, we got in and started when the <coughs> rod holders who came up, well, this is the coolest thing ever. And had started spider rigging. And at first we were running eight, 10 foot rods, you know? And it was like crazy now to think of it because 16 foot, 20 foot, you know, and now my favorite way, absolute favorite way is to cast to open water fish. And I, so what I will do is uh, I have my live scope mounted on my trolling motor. Okay. 
and I can scan back and forth until I see. And most of the time, it won't be a school of fish on structure. They'll be out suspended and roaming, uh, and I will chase that one fish down, cast to it, and something little like a, a Popeye jig. Um, now, it depends if they don't want it moving. I still have my that diamond series rod that I'll pull and be able to drop straight down on them. Right. Um, but most of the time, I'm, I'm throwing something really small at them. Um, and getting them to bite. It's just my absolute favorite way to do it. Um, and I don't know. I still at times though, will sit and like, man, I could go back to spider rigging any day. Cause my back <laughs> is a killer. Just standing up, like just standing up the whole, all day. And I'm like, my legs, I remember sitting down in them seats and sit kicking back. I'm like, you'd almost fall asleep, you know, um, waiting on that bite. But now it's so fast paced. You know, um, and it's not, you know, the big misconception that people have, I think, with live scope is every time you go out, you're going to catch a limit. Oh, no. And, and you're going to deplete a lake. You know, I couldn't tell you how many times, you know, we was talking last night about that tournament that we had back, back on my home lake that pre fishing that tournament, I went two days pre fishing that tournament the week before and caught one fish, yep. one fish in two days, you know, and that was fishing from daylight to 2 30. And it's just, it, I had live scope, you know, I had two of them on the boat. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you had had 10, you know, uh, it's just one of those things, you know, you cannot make them bite. Yeah. And uh, that, I like to, I guess, trick them and try to figure out what, what's going to make yeah. them bite, you yeah. know. Um, that, that's what I enjoy doing. When, you know, and, and when live scope came out, I was like anybody else. I was mesmerized. I've, I've never, and we've talked about this before folks, but I have never seen anything be a biggest game changer as live scope has. Um, and in the beginning I was glued to that screen, just like everybody. The difference is now I've had it for a while. Um, and I've done some shows with like Tom Hankins and, and, uh, just did one with Kevin McCarley. Uh, because I wanted to show you how the tournament guys use their live scope. So basically I, I let them do this and I, you know, explained how that's different from what I do or uh, your weekend angler. Uh -huh. And like me now, if I want to see with my live scope, are the fish in a spot that I'm fishing right. and where they're at, are they above the brush? Are they this suspended, you know, this depth or whatever. And then I go back to, to my normal fishing, the tournament guys, they may only drop their lines in the water 10, 15 times a day. Uh, and it's worked because they may chase a single fish down for 25 minutes or so. A lot of work for a guy my yeah. age and stature. So, but live scope, no matter how you use it, 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 it can help your fishing, but you're right. There's sometimes Absolutely. the fish still control what they yeah. want to do. You know, whenever I'd first start, started writing articles, I'd done one over live scope, um, and interviewed, one of the top guys uh, in the game, in the tournament game at the time was Robert Carlisle. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, he was there for a while, just dominating oh, all yeah. the tournaments, you know? And I was fortunate enough to, and this is what's so cool about the crappie fishing community is, uh, I, I shot him a message on Facebook and was like, hey, I got the reply. crappie blog, you know? It's so crazy <laughs> to me, you know, I've reached out to, uh, several people that I'm like, I ain't gonna hear, you know, um, Kevin Rogers, yeah. a big name, you know, yeah. and it was like, I'm reaching out to the guys, you know, I'd reached out to you. I'm like, Hey, <laughs> like I, before we knew each other, you know, I've reached out to some pretty influential people in the industry and not thinking I'm going to hit, uh, they don't know me. Like I've just started this. I'm not going to hear anything back. And, and here, here I am, you know, they're yeah. like, Hey, what's up? What, what do you need to know? You know? And so it was, it was one of those things that it's so cool to see. But anyway, when, to get back to my original statement, whenever I had talked with Robert Carlisle, I said, uh, his favorite way was still chasing them, chasing. you know? And I said, well, how long will you stay on one fish before you're like, all right, I'm done. I, I gotta go to another one. He said, it depends how big it is. Yeah. You know? Fact, especially like, if you're in the tournament. Holy smokes, you yep. know? I was like, holy smokes. That's so crazy, you know, to, to think of being on one fish for, Yep. hour or two hours, you know, I'll, I'll tell you where it, it makes a difference for me is I, you know, I, I love dock shooting. That's still my favorite right. shooting under a pontoon. Um, before though, if I would pull up to a row of docks or a row of pontoons, I was going to shoot every one of those. Now with the live scope, I know I'm wasting absolutely. my time under this one and I go to the next one. Yeah, so absolutely. it's a game changer, but, but anyways, the crappie blog, man, Matt, if someone wants to check it out, tell them again, how they can find it. And check it out on the crappie I'm also on Facebook as the crappie blog, um, Instagram. I have the crappie blog on Instagram as well. 
Um, like I said, on Instagram, I post a lot of the pictures, Facebook, I, I get my articles, photographs, um, things like that. And my website has videos. I also have YouTube, um, where I do some like video product reviews at times. If yeah. somebody ha has something they want to send in and say, Hey, I've got, you know, that's how Mark Riddle and I had, uh, got connected because yeah. I contacted him and I, and I was like, Hey, you know, I just started this crappie blog. I'd like to review one of your mounts. Would you be interested in sending me a mount? to do a review on. He's like, yeah, I've got this double folding mount, or it's, it was a double mount at the time. Uh -huh. I got this double mount that yeah, I'll send you. And I was like, okay, yeah, I, I'd love to. And that's how Mark and I had got, got connected, um, which is so crazy, you know, at, at once again, the community in that crop, in the yeah. crop fishing industry is like no other industry. It is, you know? it is. It's just amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, check it out, folks. You're gonna learn a lot about crappie fishing. You're gonna hear from some of the best anglers in the country. You're going to see some of the best product reviews and what's cutting edge in the industry. Folks like Cornfield Fishing Gear, B&M, Crappie Magnet. You're going to see it all. So the Crappie Blog, check it out. And uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I sure have. Before we leave, let's hear a bit about the Brush Pile app. The new Brush Pile Fishing Show companion app will change the way you watch the show. But more importantly, it will change the way you educate yourself on crappie fishing. This is so much more than just an app. It will be your go-to source for weather, brush pile fishing shows, crappie fishing tips, and your own handheld logbook. There will also be contact information for guides from past episodes, special offers from our sponsors, and tips that range from simple to advanced. Download the new Brush Pile Fishing Companion app. It's free for Android and Apple users. It's everything a crappie angler needs. Make sure you check that out. All right, folks. Get that app for your phone completely free, whether it's an Android or Apple phone. Check it out. A lot of great features. Matt, thanks for joining us, Thank brother. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what, man. I think we got a little time before the rain hits. Want to hit the water again? I do. I do. <laughs> All right. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We'll be back again with Brush Pile Fishing, the video podcast.